GM just came out with a new $15,000 pickup truck, and it is shocking everyone. But will such a cheap truck be that good? Well, it has an attractive functional design and an impressive capability, but it is also built on a whole new concept. So let me break it down for you. What is it exactly like? Imagine a truck that not only fits snugly into your budget, but also promises to be a powerhouse of performance and value. With this $15,000 pickup, General Motors isn't just adding a new model to their lineup, they're making a bold statement. But what's the deal with a price tag like this? It's a question that probably popped into your head the moment you heard the price tag. But if you look closely, the appetite for budget-friendly vehicles has been on a steep climb, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. As everyday expenses keep creeping up, there's an urgent need for trucks that serve small businesses and families without breaking the bank. But why is this such a big deal? Well, GM hasn't rolled out anything like this in ages. Actually, no other automaker has either. But here's where it gets exciting. Under the leadership of Mary Barra, GM is steering into uncharted waters. And this move comes at a time when everyone's feeling the pinch and having a reliable, affordable vehicle is more important than ever. GM is trying to capitalize on this opportunity. They have a plan. But let's talk about the details. Mary Barra's vision for GM isn't just about creating a more budget-friendly truck. It's about embracing a broader change in how we think about car ownership and also raking in huge amounts of profit. She's steering GM towards a future where economic and environmental considerations go hand in hand. This is a significant pivot for the company. Will this affordable, eco-friendly trend continue to grow? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. The $15,000 pickup isn't just a new addition to the truck market. It's a sign of things to come. As this truck rolls out, it'll be interesting to see how it influences the market and what other automakers will do in response. And guess what? This means GM has finally decided to throw down the gauntlet and take on the Ford Maverick. After nearly four years of watching Ford's compact pickup steal the spotlight, GM is stepping into the ring with the Terra. And trust me, this bad boy is ready to give the Maverick a serious run for its money. Mary Barra has promised that despite its low price tag, this truck won't skimp on the essentials. It's a tall order given that their main customers crave reliability, power, and practicality. If this truck doesn't deliver, it could spell disaster for the whole project. So let's talk about that for a sec. The Terra seems to be locked in. Under the hood, it's packing a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine. This choice is all about striking a balance between everyday usability and affordability. Sure, it's not built for hauling heavy loads, but it's designed to tackle daily driving with ease. The focus is on keeping the price down while still meeting the core needs of buyers. Finding that sweet spot between cost and capability is what will make the Terra a smart choice for those who need a reliable ride without breaking the bank. And this thing will be riding on the same platform as the newly revamped GMC Terrain SUV. This means a plethora of powertrain options. And rumors are swirling around, suggesting that GM is also cooking up a plug-in hybrid version of the Terra. This electrifying option is bound to turn heads among eco-conscious buyers. The hybrid Terra will likely share its powertrain with the Chevy Equinox PHEV available in China, combining a 177 HP1 5T engine with an electric motor to deliver a robust 250 horses. Pretty impressive, right? GM is clearly pulling out all the stops to ensure the Terra stands out in a crowded market. By leveraging the proven platform of the Terrain SUV, they're offering a blend of performance, efficiency, and sustainability. And with the potential for a hybrid option, they're appealing to a broader audience looking to reduce their carbon footprint without sacrificing power or capability. Sure, this truck may not be a powerhouse, but it's perfect for urban living and light hauling. Think of it as the ideal companion for small business owners and families who need a practical, comfortable vehicle that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And you know what that means. This truck needs to be practical and versatile. At the heart of the Terra lies a design centered on practicality. Think of a spacious cabin that's perfect for everything from family road trips to hauling your weekend gear. 
It has a 4.5 foot bed, ideal for loading up bikes, camping equipment, or even those ambitious home improvement supplies. GMC's goal, to seamlessly blend functionality with passenger comfort. But the Terra is not just about utility. It's about making you feel at home on the road. Color choices. The Terra's got you covered on that too, with a palette of exterior color options that let you express your personal style. From classic shades to metallic and premium paints, there's a finish to suit every taste. It's all about making your Terra truly yours. And when it comes to being practical, this thing takes the crown. It has roof rails, a reinforced rear bumper, and integrated towing hitch options that make hauling your recreational toys a breeze. But that is not all. Aerodynamics play a crucial role in the Terra's design, with features that not only improve fuel efficiency, but also reduce wind noise, making your drive smoother and more comfortable. It's about blending performance with practicality, ensuring you get the best of both worlds. Off-road chops, higher ground clearance, but here is a thought-provoking question for you. Is this even possible? How are they managing to deliver more bang for your buck in today's economy? Well, let's break it down. The method, sure, car prices have been on a steady climb, but there's a tipping point where they have to come back down. We're already seeing this trend with both classic and new models from major brands like Toyota. Take the Toyota Land Cruiser, for instance. It saw its price slashed by nearly $25,000. So what's the play here? The strategy is refreshingly simple. Master one thing and market it smartly. Ford nailed this with their Maverick truck, showcasing its impressive fuel efficiency and lighter build, making it an urban driver's dream. If this trend continues, it's not out of the realm of possibility for General Motors to adopt a similar strategy with the Terra. Known for pushing the envelope on sustainability, GM might just use the Terra to champion the cause of greener vehicles. This approach would not only cater to today's eco-conscious consumers, but also set a new benchmark in the automotive world, emphasizing a shift towards more specialized, cost-effective, and eco-friendly designs. The Terra is crafted with fuel efficiency and lightweight design at its core. This fresh approach is geared towards making it a top contender for a wide range of buyers, potentially driving a surge in demand. This is a perfect plan for them. Think about it. You've just snagged a pickup truck for $15,000, but then you're hit with soaring gas prices. Sounds like a tough spot, right? Ford's Maverick has shown that offering budget-friendly, fuel-efficient rides can be a game-changer. Sure, the Maverick might not be a beast off-road or boast mind-blowing power, but it gets the job done and does it well. Now, the real challenge for the Terra is figuring out if it can meet customer expectations and carve out its niche in the crowded truck market. Crafting the Terra is no small feat. It's a mix of strategic planning and overcoming obstacles. But if they get it right, the rewards could be substantial. When a vehicle offers exceptional value, it quickly catches fire with consumers, and the demand can drive the price up. Just look at the Ford Maverick. It became so sought after that its price climbed, and at one point, you couldn't even get one no matter how deep your pockets were. But if you think that this is such a big headache, you will be shocked by what I am about to tell you. Here's where things get tricky. The big question is whether people will opt for a new, unproven truck like the Terra, or wait to save up for a more established option like the Maverick or Santa Cruz. And don't forget about used trucks like the Tacoma.